amend the motion to be that. Does everybody understand? All right, all those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, hands down, all those opposed? All right, so now we're back to Mr. Breitbart's motion. The motion failed, yes. Second. Is there any objection to calling the question on Mr. Breitbart's motion to limit debate to one minute per person? Well, In less, one, one minute, less than 10 minutes, two minutes per person if there is greater than 10 minutes debate time. It's 10 minutes. 10 minutes or greater. Point of clarification. And if it's 10 minutes, is it higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Okay, so it's less than 10 minutes, it's one minute. 10 minutes, 10 minutes or less? 10 minutes. 10 minutes gets one more than 10 gets to. As the speaker, as the maker of the motion, 10 minutes or less or fewer gets one minute per person. And 11 minutes, since we only do whole integers here, or higher. Five minutes per side gets one. All right. Is there any objection to call the question? Seeing none. All those in favor, please raise your hands. Hands down. All those opposed? That motion fails. We are now on B2.2. December is good enough. This is a motion to move the cutoff for members who can be nominators for the Hugo to December rather than January 31st. Right? All right, we are setting debate time. I suggested 10 minutes. Is there any objection? None. <laughs> There's an objection. Are, what are the other suggested debate times? Two. Two. Eight. 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 Are you number three out there? Two, Two. Two eight, six, <laughs> and the 10. I will remind people the more time we spend setting debate, is more time than we're spending debating. But. Um, all right, we're going to start with 10 minutes. All those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, all those opposed? Uh, I think the no's have it. Eight minutes? All right, all those opposed? I'm going to say the ayes have it. Eight minutes. All right, Mr. Yellow. No, sorry. We're on B.2.3. Two years are good enough. For what? A motion. Uh, Cliff Dunn, I would like to move to postpone indefinitely B.2.3.1. We're not on B.2.3.1 yet. <laughs> You want to move to postpone indefinitely? We haven't introduced. You can only postpone indefinitely made motions. That's my name. Right. Yes, it's an amendment to the substitution, but I don't believe you can postpone. There's no point in postponing indefinitely. Postponing indefinitely takes two thirds. Defeating the amendment takes even. All right. Now that we're going to set debate on B.2.3. Didn't you just do that? It's to limit the nominating pool to the current Worldcon members and the members of the previous year's Worldcon. Oh, so I missed a missed a Cutting off next year's Worldcon, correct. It's not on the we're setting debate. I've suggested 10 minutes. Is there any objection to 10 minutes? Two. All right, we have 10 and 2. Any other numbers? 6, 8, 12, and 4. All right, we're going to start with 12. 12 and going down evenly. 12 minutes of debate. All those in favor? All right, all those opposed? 10 minutes of debate, all those in favor? All those opposed? I'm going to say the ayes have it, 10 minutes of debate. We now have an amendment by substitution. 
For what purpose does the member rise? Say what the motion is. Yes. Mr. Gallo noted that the maker of the motion, which is B.2.3.1, has priority as the speaker, Mr. Yellow. Please use the microphone. This is a motion about this year's Yugos. I believe philosophically that this year's Yugos should be picked by this year's members of the World Science Fiction Society throughout the process that we purely are saying this is what this year's society has chosen and therefore that's all. Yes. Those are the only people who get to nominate. Those are the only people who get to vote. Administratively, it is also much cleaner because you are not required to deal with getting various copies of various data sets particularly with dealing with issues such as data protection laws in the various European countries that make it difficult to get data sets across international boundaries. All right. Is there a speech against the amendment to substitute? Mr. Harris, as the maker of the base motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my speech against is very simple. Um, having put to forward with the group that worked with me the um, two years are good enough. When we expanded the pool from one year to two years and then three, adding the third year, which is the future year, creates a huge amount of admin because the future year is a moving target with new members joining all the time and it adds relatively few people to the voting pool. It's because obviously that third year has only just come in for, the, for this year's Hugo's. Um, the Helsinki voters, as of January 31st this year, probably only added a few hundred to a voter pool of six or 7,000. Okay, after they do. Debate need not be fashioned. Sorry. Um, the, my concern about removing the previous year is in a year where there is a small world con, so let's imagine we're in Japan or New Zealand, your voter pool for that one year could be down to a couple of thousand members total and that makes the whole system far more gameable for those who wish to be bad actors. A two year, including the previous year, which we have now, which is a large fixed pool, because that's the final total for a world card, means we're usually gonna have at least five or six um, thousand people voting, even when this year's world card's in a small year. So unfortunately, whilst I like Mr. Yellow's philosophy, I believe in principle it exposes the awards to being much more easily gamed in smaller years. Mr. Kowalczyk, for what purpose? Still, still, Rick Kowalczyk. Uh, one year is the way it used to be. Things actually didn't get remarkably better when it went to two years. Um, going, leaving it two years means you can still uh, have the point that Colin raised. If, say, for example, is uh, something happens and 19 is in Paris, and 20 is in New Zealand, you'd still have a very small pool in 20. Making it one year actually helps the current year because you would get more supporting memberships and we probably would not all be crying about how broke we are now if this uh, amendment had actually uh, been enforced because Mid-American would have more supporting membership income. Ms. Bemis. Point of parliamentary inquiry. Um, we'll bring you the mic. Yeah. Point of parliamentary inquiry. I thought we were doing setting times, not having debate on the motions today. This is an amendment by substitution to the piece of new business, which means it's in order. It was just sent to us ahead of time, so by virtue of being so, it gets in the agenda. So we are currently debating substituting Mr. Yallo's motion, B.2.3.1, for B.2.3. Ms. Yes, 